<laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm just going to share with you what's in my personal makeup kit. What are the makeup products that I usually use every day or during formal events or any kind of events. So this is basically my favorite products that I use and it's here in my Muji bag. The brand of this bag is a Muji. So for those who don't know about a Muji, it's a Japanese uh, brand. You cannot find it here in Davao City. I bought it from Manila. I just asked a friend to buy it for me. And you can find a Muji stores in Sorry, I forgot uh, the branches that they have, but they have a lot of branches in Manila. Also, they have in Cebu City because last time when we went to a vacation last Christmas, I saw it in Ayala, Ayala Mall, that the Muji store is there, but I forgot where and what floor it is. They have uh, three different sizes. I saw three uh, sizes of this bag and this is the largest bag. I think this is the XL or the large. I forgot. <laughs> I think this is the large one because they have the small, the medium, and the large. This is, this is how big it is. So let's open it. So this is what it looks like inside. <coughs> and then guys, Sorry nga pala sa bosses ko ngayon kasi I'm actually sick right now. I'm having cough and colds. That's already been a week, but I'm fine. <laughs> but I think I'm getting better. It's just that my voice and I still have cough. But I'm okay. So this is what it looks like inside when you open it. It has a brush container. Brush container. Tama ba? <laughs> Yan, may lalagyan ng brushes and then cover niya. Sorry for my brushes, hindi pa siya nalinisan. Kasi I just recently used these brushes. What's inside? The first one that I have here aside from the brushes that you saw. So, okay, unahin na lang natin yung brushes. This one, this is from BH Cosmetics. I use this as my powder brush or any face brush or whatever. Ginagamit ko siya yung pang finishing na. And then I have this brush also from Beach Cosmetics. This one. And I use this as a blush brush. Mm. And my favorite, my all time favorite foundation brush. It's the buffing brush from Real Techniques. Wala na yung label nila. Na erase na. Yeah, ito yung pang ko ng foundation. And this is for contouring. This is from Beauty Cosmetics. This is locally available. But minsan ko lang talaga siya nagagamit. But nilagay ko lang siya dito in case I need it. Kasi ito yung ginagamit ko talaga always. This uh, contour brush also from Beauty Cosmetics. D2 for this one. From Real Techniques again. I forgot what's the name of it. Pero kasali to siya sa uh, kit. Yung eye kit. This ay yung yung eye kit na Real Techniques. Yan yung boses ko. <laughs> Pagaw. Sa Tagalog paos. Sa Bisaya, Pagaw. <laughs> Another one from Real Techniques again. It's the setting brush. I use this brush to put... To put. I use this brush to put my highlights on. This is my favorite brush for putting highlights. Kasi di ba yung iba ginagamit for highlight is yung fan brush. But, nasanay ako dito eh. Kaya, ito yung mas nilagay ko. At mas madali siyang i-keep dito. Kasi yung fan brush, di ba? Parang pag ganun. So, mag-occupy siya ng space or whatever. <laughs> so, ito yung pidili ko. Let's proceed sa main. Yung sa loob talaga ng bag. So, the first one here is... Uh, look. This is so cute. I got this from G Mall. Happy Life Store. And this is a... Mirror! Ganun siya o. Oh. You can adjust so angle or whatever you want. Basta mirror siya. Oh, I also have here from Beach Cosmetics. I think this is their travel kit brush. Yan. For the eye. Yung ang liliit lang. I got this as a freebie when I bought brush sets from Beach Cosmetics. So they gave me this one as a free item. Ano unahin natin after the mirror? Let's start. O sige, ganito na lang. Start natin kung ano yung pag-a-apply ng makeup. So, we will start sa primer. 
I have two primers here. One from Vanilla Co. Prime Primer Matte from Vanilla Co. I so love this primer kasi effective talaga siya sa akin. Na mumatify na talaga yung foundation ko. I'm oily on a T-zone but sometimes I'm dry. Sometimes lang naman ako dry dito but I'm usually oily. For me ha, as in uh, nag-work talaga siya sa akin as a mattifying primer. I recently got this primer because I will explain it later. So I have this Marc Jacobs Invisible Undercover Perfecting Coconut Coconut Face Primer. I already tried this and I love the scent and feeling yung nilagay ko siya sa face kasi uh, hindi lang siya nagmamat but it helps your skin to moisturize. Ano ba tawag good? Ano ba? Tamang explanation dun. Basta na mo moisturize siya yung face mo. Kasi di ba yung foundation ng Marc Jacobs is eto na nga I explain ko na. So since tapos ako sa primer, bago ko lang din ito ginagamit. Kaya ako bumili ng Marc Jacobs na primer kasi gumagamit ako ng Marc Jacobs na foundation. And this Marc Jacobs uh, remarkable foundation is very full coverage and very matte. So, di ba, ang daming reviews about Marc Jacobs na maganda siya but super makamat. So, it tends to dry your skin, make your skin look dry, and parang mat na mat na talaga yung face mo. So, I tried to pair it up with their primer kasi this is a super moisturizing primer at the same time na hold niya yung foundation. And, hindi nga ako nagkamali. When I paired this two, yun. Ang ganda ng effect ng foundation sa akin. Anyways, I will just do a separate video about this Marc Jacobs foundation and primer para mas ma-explain ko sa inyo yung ibig kong sabihin kasi ang gulo ko mag-explain. <laughs> so for those who want to know what's my shade, I'm in Ivory 12. Actually, hindi talaga ako Ivory 12. But since malakas siyang mag-oxidize kasi acidic ako, yun lighter. Two shades lighter, I think. Or three shades lighter ito. Kaya ito yung binili ko na shade. Ivory 12. But before I use the Marc Jacobs, kasi nga bago ko lang siya ginagamit, I use this one, Max Study Fix Fluid. And yung prolong wear, but yung prolong wear ko, ubus na. Aside from Marc Jacobs, minsan, minimix ko siya sa isa pang foundation na sa mga. Aside from Marc Jacobs, I also have this Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place uh, Makeup. So, minsan, minimix ko siya sa time na gusto ko talaga as in full makeup na gusto ko parang para lang akong mannequin na walang pores, wow. walang <laughs> parang ganun. When I want to look very flawless, yung pang show talaga, alam niyo yun. So, after foundation, let's proceed to the concealers. I have three from the drugstore and three high-ends. So, high-ends, I've got the MAC, I've got the NAR... NAR... NARS. <laughs> NARS. And one from Urban Decay, Naked Skin. And I forgot, uh, Estee Lauder, I'm in the shade 1W2 Sand. And sa map, I'm in the shade NC20. Yung mga ka-NC20 dyan ang map, ito yung mga equivalent shades na bagay. So back to the concealer. My ever favorite concealer is from MAC. This one, the Pro Long Wear Concealer. I got the shade NC15 kasi para mas lighter for uh, under eye. Urban Decay Naked Skin, I got the shade Fair Neutral. NARS, I got the shade Vanilla. From the drugstore, I got the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And then I got two from a Korean brand, which Pouch Selfie Perfect Concealer. Nakita niyo na to guys eh. I got this during my birthday. I bought it from Alfea Korea. This is shade 21 and 23. As in nakaka-cover niya talaga yung mga imperfections, mga yung dapat i-conceal yun. Natural lang yung dating. And I also have here from LA Girl Pro Concealer and this is in the shade Almond. I use this as a contour shade. I rarely use this kasi lately, ano na lang, powder contour na lang. Setting powder. And I'm using the Cody Airspun. Actually, I have two setting powders here. But before, my favorite is the RCMA. But, you know, I wanna try new products. So, yun, nag Cody Airspun ako. And this is the shade Translucent. But, my pang special event din ako. 
I'm using this Laura Mercier loose powder. So I have one high end and one drugstore loose powder. Gumagamit din ako ng sponge, guys. Hindi lang brush. I got one from Nippon. Alam niyo guys, parang beauty blender na din ito. Yung ano nila, yung pro sponge. Next setting powder na tayo. So next sa eye. Yun. This one, the tart, the tartlet. <laughs> Sorry guys, my previous video about the this palette. Mali yung pagkasabi ko, yung sabi ko is tart. Sabi ko kasi doon tartlet. The correct way to read this one is tartlet. Yeah. Tartlet in bloom. This is uh, my favorite eye palette. Yeah. But recently, I got a new palette. But hindi ko pa siya nagagamit. Nilagay ko na siya dito sa personal kit ko. Kasi matagal ko nang gustong gamitin yun. I mean, matagal ko nang gustong magkaroon ng ganong palette. My newest addition sa aking kit. This one is one from Anastasia. So this one. Anyways, um, I will be doing a separate video also or tutorial na lang. Tutorial using this palette from makeup tutorial. Kasi di ba prom season na ngayon. So I will make a makeup tutorial using this palette. The next one. I have the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour. Super ganda ng packaging niya, guys. As in, sa packaging ako na in love. Di, pero maganda din yung sa, uh, sa loob. But hindi ko pa siya nagagamit. Ayan o. Oh. Gagawan ko pa din ito ng uh, review and demo, first impression, whatever. Churva. <laughs> Next, blushes. Blushes. <laughs> Next are the blushes. I have one from Milani, Tarte, and MAC. I bought this last 2012, 12, 13. Masaya mga year, 2012 or 2013. And marami pa siyang laman. Kasi ano, pigmented siya, tapos ang tagal niyang mawala sa mukha. And this is in the shade Dainty. This is a mineral blush. Super nice nito guys. And... Tarte, this one. Tarte blush. And this is in the shade Exposed. And of course, my favorite blush. Actually, favorite ko naman to lahat eh. But, yung always ko talaga yung ginagamit, as in super always, is itong Milani. This is a drugstore blush. Super nice dito, guys. This is a Luminoso. And of course, the palette from Becca Cosmetics. Uh, the Jacqueline Face Palette. Nakita niyo yung video na ginawa ko about dito. So, meron din siyang tatlong blushes and the two highlights. So, ito na yung ginagamit ko as highlights. The Champagne Pop and the Prosecco Pop. Oh, this is the Champagne Pop and this is the Prosecco Pop. Ano bang next? My favorite lashes are from Red Cherry. But these are new ones. Kasi yung dati ko lashes from Red Cherry, super tagal na niya. I think I've been using those lashes for almost four years already. Style number 523 and style number 48. And for the glue, of course, red cherry din. I forgot some more brushes kanina, yung ginagamit ko sa eyes. This is from Beauty Cosmetics. This is a set, yung kasali yung kanina. Pero meron pa yung siyang mga kasama, pero hindi ko lang nalagay dito sa kit. And these two, from Real Techniques. And I also have this puller. I use this to put the lashes. My all-time favorite for my brows is this one from Anastasia. Deep Brow Pomade in Dark Brown. Yeah. I paired it with a Benefit. This Benefit Gimme Brow. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. I also have this tawag dito? mermaid brush, whatever. Ito lang yung nilagay ko sa kit ko kasi pwede siya pang ugalin sa nose. Pwede din siya yung panglinis ng kilay. Lilinisin mo yung drawing ng kilay mo. It's either pwede siya dito or pwede din siya yung pang nose contour. I also have this cute pink puff from Etude House. Kasi baka magamit ko siya when I put powder or retouch or wala, in case lang. <laughs> so sa lipsticks, paiba-iba yung shades. Depende din lang sa mood ko, sa event or sa kung ano yung feel ko. 
But sa ngayon, yung nandito sa kit ko, I have four from Colourpop and then one from Lime Crime. Colourpop, I have three satin shades. Mas gusto ko kasi yung siya. <laughs> Mas gusto ko kasi yung satin na collection ng Colourpop kasi hindi siya drying. Unlike nung matte na collection ng Colourpop. They're super drying. So, I have three shades ng satin. This is Dopey, Magic Wand, and Freakin' Frack. From the matte collection, I have the Tool. Tool shade. Tool yung yun. Tool. One thing na napansin ko sa Colourpop, iba yung color na makikita mo sa labas ng packaging compare sa color na sa loob and when you swipe it sa lips nyo. As in, Super. Magkaiba yung color. Kung titingnan nyo, parang pare-pareho lang yung colors. Pero pag in-apply nyo sa lips, iba na yung color. And from Lime Crime, I got the shade Bleach. This is my favorite go-to lips. Yung parang nude-nude effect lang. And lastly, of course, a setting spray. I got the Scandinavia. Oh! Tama pala. Yung isa pala. This is a primer. Primer spray from Scandinavia, and this is especially for oil control. I super love this primer, guys. As in, super super effective niya. Kaso it's super expensive, kaya medyo sayang siya if always mo gamitin. So pang ano lang talaga, pang special events. And for the makeup finishing spray, also from Scandinavia. This is 20 ml. I got the big ones, yung malaking bottle. Ito lang yung meron ako dito sa kit kasi para mas madali siyang dalhin or bitbitin. Kasi pag yung malaki, mabigat na siya. So, if ever maubos na to, refill na lang. Refill na refill. Now, those are the makeup products that I have on my personal kit. And some of them are already my favorites. Kaya nga siya nandun sa personal kit ko. Kasi nga, favorite ko na siya. But disclaimer lang guys, hindi ibig sabihin na gusto ko siya... Uh, shinare ko siya or uh, sinabi ko na yun yung ginagamit ko. It doesn't mean na yun din yung babagay sa inyo. So, depende pa rin sa inyo kung ano yung prefer nyo or whatever yung feel yung gamitin or kung ano yung nag-workout ng best sa inyo. So, I guess that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching me. Kahit may sakit yung boses ko. Kahit nakaka-bother yung tono ng boses ko. Kasi nga, may sakit ako. But I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you guys again on my next one. Bye!